This concept that we are going to cover now, it is extremely important and useful in electronics. So please pay attention here. The circuit has two sources. One is DC signal and the other one is AC signal that are superimposed on the top of each other. So as you see here, we have a 5 volts DC voltage source and a cosine wave that is set on the top of it. Because those two voltage sources are on the top of each other or in series, then the total voltage will be the sum of those two sources. And let's say that the total voltage across them is V1. Now, let us plot the total voltage across them as a function of time. The total voltage has two components. The first one is the 5 volts DC. The 5 volts DC is basically a constant voltage as a function of time that will reach 5 volts. The cosine wave by itself is an oscillating signal, has no offset, that's centered around zero. Now the total voltage across those two sources, which is V1, is basically the sum of those two voltages. And that basically means that the sine wave is offsetted by 5 volts. So you will see the oscillation of the sine wave is centered around the 5 volts. This is extremely important concept in electronics. The sine wave, which is the AC signal, is superimposed, offsetted by the DC signal. Very, very, very important concept, especially in amplifier designs. Note that in this circuit, this capacitor here has a very large value, which is approximately set to be infinity. There is no such a thing, but it is a mathematical model. This particular capacitor, the large value capacitor, is called AC coupling capacitor or DC decoupling capacitor. And let's see how does this capacitor change the circuit. This is another important concept, folks, so please pay attention here. For DC signals, that means omega equals zero, the impedance of the capacitor is defined as 1 over j omega c since omega is 0 because it is a DC signal that means the impedance of the capacitor is 1 over j times 0 times c which is basically 1 over 0 which is infinity. Nothing new, we know that the capacitor will act as open circuit with infinite impedance if the signal is DC. So if the signal is DC, the capacitor behave as open circuit. That is very important concept. Now, if we apply an, an AC signal, and we know that the capacitor value is very large, very close to infinity, then the impedance of the capacitor for AC signals becomes 1 over j omega c, but c is infinity, so we have 1 over j omega times infinity, which is 1 over infinity, that is 0. If the capacitor is very large in value, for the AC signal, the capacitor behaves as short circuit. In conclusion, the capacitor will couple the AC signals because it behaves as short circuit and it decouples the DC signal because it behaves as open circuit. Very, very, very important concept.